My name is Dr. Ruby Roberts. I'm an industrial psychologist and research fellow at the Aberdeen Business School at Robert Gordon University. As an industrial psychologist, part of the work that I do relates to human factors. Now that can sound a little bit like a made up term or a little bit of a, an odd thing, but human factors relate to the factors that make you good at your job. So that's the thinking and the decision making skills that you will use every day, but it's also having an environment that allows you to do your job safely and effectively. Now, those people factors or human factors act as a key barrier to major accidents. But as we all know, humans uh, are fallible, so they can also make it worse and contribute to these major accidents. And a key human factor skill is situation awareness. Now, situation awareness uh, is not something that's really fancy and uh, that only really high end people use. This is something that we all do. And it essentially boils down to being able to gather information uh, from the environment. So that can be from handovers, toolbox talks, uh, making uh, readings from instruments, doing walk arounds, talking to your colleagues. It's gathering lots of information around uh, the surrounding environment uh, and the task that you're completing. And then using all that information to build up a picture of what's happening. And if you have that mental model and you're really good at your job, you can then use that information to predict how the situation may progress. Uh, and that's really important for being able to identify potential hazards, which could at a later point uh, turn into or uh, contribute to a major hazard or a major accident. So an example might be being uh, aware that a pipe's isolated before you're working on it. Um, being aware of what was in that pipe previously, what system is that pipe connected up to, uh, and should there be an error, what kind of consequence might that have? And so situation awareness is in no way an academic idea, uh, and it's certainly not an academic idea that situation awareness can influence major accidents. As Poor situation awareness, so not having all of the information, misunderstanding the situation, not anticipating it, how it might contribute, have been identified in countless major accidents. So things like Deepwater Horizon on the Macondo well, Petrobras, West Atlant Atlas in the Timian Sea, there are numerous examples of this, uh, particularly in the oil and gas sector, but also within, within the wider industry and in things like aviation, healthcare, etc. So I want you to be aware of what situation awareness is, that it's vital for your, your job and to be able to identify those potential hazards and then anticipate how those hazards may progress or contribute to both a big and a small incident. And I'm telling you this not for my sake, but for yours. I have many loved ones and friends and family who have worked in oil and gas over the years. I live in the northeast of Scotland. I really don't want to read about you in an incident report. And I certainly don't want to read about you in the papers. So situation awareness is vital for being able to do your job safely and effectively. And if this is something that you would like to learn more about or about major accident hazards, please check out the Step Change in Safety website and you can find a lot more information there. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for your time.